Check out how I destroyed my office. Part of that still should be packed. This monitor and PC and those three boxes are flying to Thailand this week. I didn't manage to pack my big case in any of boxes, so my PC is assembled in the parts and going to the Thailand in suitcase in about 14 days. That light monitor going to the suitcase, that is going to the box, yeah, small things, I don't know. And yeah, most of that will be sold because I just don't have place for all of that and I'm not going to carry that around across the continents. Of course, TV, you have to go. A lot of things to do. But I still need to record this week video for you guys, so that's, that's what we are doing here. Packing and recording. And I knew that I will have a use case for this Apple Studio display box. Now at least I have somewhere where to pack it. Okay, as you may see I'm quite busy, but I wanted to get this video out because you're asking questions about moving to Thailand and so on. So, yes, I'm moving to Thailand in 14 days, it's mid-July. Am I coming back to Europe? Yes, I'm planning to come back to Europe for summers. Basically, winters will be in Thailand. In August, school is starting for my daughter in Thailand, so we are going kind of now, in two weeks, in mid-July, to get our new home, everything, you know, and be ready for school. Will I create vlogs, stuff, streaming, everything in Thailand? Yes, of course I will do. That's my plan, to keep doing what I'm doing here. And quick and rapid Q&A basically those are questions that you asked me on Instagram we are doing those Q&A quite often if you do not follow me on Instagram you are missing out <laughs> this time most of the questions are about indie app development which is not surprising because that's most of the content I'm sharing on Instagram and other socials so question how can one make money doing what you do in Africa yes absolutely I'm moving to Thailand to do basically what I'm doing. Uh, geography is not important. I could move to Africa as well and keep doing what I'm doing. So what that means, uh, what, what do I do? I'm doing freelancing, which is online. I'm building my own applications, which is online. I'm creating content, which is whenever you are. If you are in Latvia, you can do here <laughs> in Latvia. If you are in Africa, you can do it there. What is the hardest part in coding iOS mobile apps? I will say that coding getting easier every day, every week, and yeah, every month. Coding is not so hard. If you are talking about indie app development, I will say getting downloads, marketing, all that just that is hard. Getting the right ideas, building up the programming part itself is not too hard. Do you think it is still possible to get income with only solo iOS app development? Yes, absolutely is. I shared my revenue income in multiple videos. There are plenty of developers who are sharing income as well. I'm not the biggest, not the smallest. I'm somewhere in the middle making like, I don't know, something like three to 5K in a month from my own apps. How much time do you spend on each project? The last app that I built, it is a motorcycle identifier application. Probably I will do a dedicated video about that. Let me know if you are interested. But I spent less than a week building that application. So building, screenshots, app store search optimization, launching, everything, less than a week. Are there any good job opportunities in the software field in Northeastern Europe? Uh, hard to say, because I am not really kind of working in Latvian market, but I think there are still job opportunities. A job market is getting worse every year in programming. And if you are just studying in first uh, year uh, computer science degree, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not clear what will happen in next four years. And does working in web or application development require a university degree? Here I mean working for companies and not as a freelancer. This question is kind of tricky because answer is it depends. I have a computer science degree, but no one ever you asked me for that. If you would like to work in government institutions, those mo mo more often are more regulated and asking for specific degrees. For example, yeah, there are plenty of job opportunities where you have to have a computer science degree. Is it necessary to get a job? No, not at all. You can find plenty of companies which do not care about your grade. There is one more. Why do you choose iOS instead of Android development for development and career? 
So I built few Android applications. I did that before where Android apps were developed using Java and ID was Eclipse. That wasn't the best experience, but mm, I don't know. I didn't really like it. I like iOS better. There is more money in iOS market. And actually I made video about that as well. You can check out dedicated video about that. Okay, bye.